You're my favourite, you're always my favourite, aside from the dog. You're my favourite, even when you leave empty cups by the bed. I don't like it when you do that, but I love you so I suppose it's okay. You're my favourite, although you complain that I always steal your socks. You're my favourite because I can tell you anything and you'll listen. I can be upset and you'll just listen and leave me for a minute to do a little cry. You give me a hug and make me a cup of tea and you make me feel better again. Out of all the reasons that you're my favourite, it has to be because you're silly. When you're silly, it makes me feel okay that I'm silly too. We're the same kind of silly, and this is the most important thing. If you're lucky and you find someone that's your kind of silly, then it means that you will live a life of happiness forever. You're my favourite out of everyone in the whole world because I know that you're my home, and it's lovely. It's lovely because it's me and you forever, and the dog, obviously. <laughs> Grant and Eta must be incredibly proud to raise such a wonderful daughter. I must apologise to Abigail, however, this is the best we could do with Chris on short notice. <laughs> I'm the best man, I'm not a miracle worker. <laughs> Today, Abigail is the most beautiful daughter in the world. As she walked down that aisle, there's no more beautiful today than it was, Abigail. And you are beautiful on the inside as you are on the outside. And you really are. I don't, I'm not just saying that, you're fantastic. And it was one of my proudest moments today when I walked down the aisle with her. I know it's cliche, but Abby, you really are my best friend and you make me laugh every single day. Believe it or not, but the day after I met you, I genuinely told people in work that I'd met the girl of my dreams in 53. You really are the girl of my dreams and you're beautiful on the inside and out. I've never met someone who is as funny, thoughtful, genuine and kind as you are and I can't wait to start a family together. I love you. So I'd like to raise a toast to the two most important people here and raise your glasses to the new Mr and Mrs Hodson.